Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain quiet for the minute of silence. Good morning, Chantilly. I'm John Garrison. And I'm Noah Johnson. Today is Monday, November 15th, 2021. And here are your morning announcements. Today's a B-Day. Tomorrow's an A-Day with double advisory. There will be a yoga club meeting on Thursday in Mod 5. A professional yoga teacher is coming in to lead practices. If you want to participate, you must bring in a pre-signed waiver found by contacting the club. The Toys for Toss Drive is now open until December 9th is a Marine Corps Reserve sponsored program to collect new toys for needy children. Please drop off your donations in the collection boxes located across from the main office, their cosmetology room 907, and across from the academy office. Thank you for helping your needy children in the community. The winners of the National French Week Trivia Raffle are Maddie Reiner, Macy Tran, Jojo Ellis, Angelina Zhu, and Prothik T. Please see Madame Gonzalez in room 283 after school today to claim your prize. This past year shine lights on small businesses and all of their work that goes into them. Nana Asayama is someone who took their hair cutting skills to create their own small business. One of our students, Nana Asayama, has been running his own barber business for about two years. We spoke to him and some of his clients to learn more. I used to work at a barber shop in Falls Church. It was called uh, Top Class Barber Shop. And uh, I used to sweep there. And then after like sweeping there for like a year, they're like, you might as well learn since you're here. So I learned how to cut hair. So after working there for a while, I uh, started making friends and uh, I became like really close friends with one of the barbers. And after they died, uh, that inspired me to like take barbering more serious. So I started cutting more after his death. R.I.P. Les. I received a taper, as you can see. My experience was pretty good. Uh, I'd give it like a 10 out of 10. I scheduled the appointment quick and easy and I came in and asked for what I wanted and I got the cut that I wanted. And yeah, it was pretty fun. I got a low taper fade. My experience was good. I just really liked the environment over there at where he cuts hair. And uh, it was nice to have a conversation with him while he cut my hair and overall it was just really good. And he gave a really great haircut. There's a lot of ways you can book your appointment, but I booked my appointment. I uh, went on Nana Cut's Instagram, DM'd him. Uh, scheduled a time to come in. Um, he cut my hair right after practice. I just asked him and he drove me over to his garage and just cut my hair. Uh, it was free for me, but he usually charges 15. Uh, all you gotta do is DM me and this is my Instagram. If you want to show support for his business, you can book your appointment at any time. This has been Lauren Seisky for the Nightly News. Now back to you. Good luck, Nana, with the future of your business. Well, that's all we have for you today, Chantilly. This has been John Garrison and Noah Johnson reminding you to stay positive, stay safe, and have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow.